Hello, Mr. Newton here. We're back in Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai for the PSP or PlayStation Portable. It was like a portable PlayStation 2. And the game was released in March 2006. We will play some more in the arcade. The story mode in this game is not based on Dragon Ball Z, it's based on a movie. Dragon Ball Z Fusion Returns, Goku and Vegeta, that I never watched. We'll take a look at it later, but we'll go for the arcade now. Okay, we'll play on very easy. No dual time. Two rounds. Okay. And play as Son Goku, In Gohan, Gohan, Vegeta, Trunks, Trillen, Piccolo, Frieza, Android 18, Cell, in its perfect cell form, or perfect form. Kid Buu, Cooler, the brother of Frieza and the brawl the Super Saiyan, legendary Super Saiyan from a movie. Okay, I don't know if we have any secret characters that I haven't unlocked already. I believe I have uh, used a save file from the internet to get all the characters, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, so the, there are not that many characters playable, at least not uh, uh, as far as I can see. Uh, it's possible to transform into Super Saiyan and such, but you need to do that in the battles. I don't know if you need capsules in order to do it, or if it's uh, uh, if you just need to click the right button. We've already played through the arcade as Son Goku, the main character of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so uh, let's play with Android 18 this time. Yes. So unlike on the PS2, they do not move their mouths or eyes. There are worse animations on the PlayStation Portable. The graphics are also way worse, but thanks to the emulator, it's uh, increased 10 times the, the resolution of the PlayStation Portable. And also thanks to my computer's graphic card. I'm using a gaming computer, you know. I'm running the PPSS PP emulator with the game. So, so uh, thanks to the graphics card, we have better resolution and graphics, but also thanks to the emulator itself, which increases the graphics with 10 times the resolution. But the movements, unfortunately, do not move their mouths and eyes, and that's because the PSP or PlayStation Portable is weaker than the PlayStation 2. It was a portable PlayStation 2, but slightly weaker and didn't have same strengths as the PlayStation 2. That's why you can't run PlayStation 2 games on the PlayStation 4 game. I believe the PSP Vita or PlayStation Vita is just uh, like PSP 2. I believe that system where a portable PlayStation 3 probably is slightly weaker than the PlayStation 3. It could be wrong. Uh, but this was a slightly weaker PS2. <laughs> That's why you can't play PlayStation 2 titles in this. Because they are too demanding the PlayStation 4 more. But you can play them on the computer, of course. Using the emulators. I, I tried playing a PlayStation 3 title on the computer, and it worked on my computer. But the problem... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The problem was not that they didn't work, the problem was that they lagged. There were a clear, slow reaction, and when, when, uh, not lag, but when I moved the character, it felt very slow. It's like the screen were, were very slow at moving. Uh, it didn't lag, but it felt slow. Uh, as compared to when I stream the PlayStation 3, I have a PlayStation 3, you know, and I streamed the uh, Valkyrie Profile, uh, no, v Valkyria Chronicles, uh, on the PlayStation 3, I streamed it a while back, uh, before I bought the PC version and played it instead because I wanted to use mods, but when I played the first episode using the PlayStation 3 title from 2008, uh, then I didn't feel any lag or anything because I played from the actual PlayStation 3 and just streamed it. But when using an emulator and playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 in the, I believe, the remastered version, the PlayStation 3, that played it on the computer and it was very slow. It worked, but All felt right, slow. 
I believe playing on the actual PlayStation 3 is better, but it doesn't feel slow. can charge in this game, but her energy looks different from the others. It looks more similar to the flow, where the wind is moving and such, because of their strengths. But because they're androids or robots, they do not have energy, the same way that humans do or Saiyans, or Mechians or whatever. That barrier is one of her uh, attacks, can defend against beams. The model, as I said in another video, is the same as in Dragon Ball Z Burger 2 and 3 for the PlayStation 2. They lack certain animations here, so they look worse. And also, I believe that her colors are changed. She had uh, a lighter blue color in, in Burger 2 and 3. Here she looks more purple, which looked better in my opinion. Let's charge. I can't teleport like that when they attack. Oh, you did a destructive disc there. And the uh, shield, whatever, shield barrier. Alright, let's face Frieza. This game, unlike the Budokai games, is much more easy to get into. It has less flashy ultimate moves and uh, super moves. Uh, they look less cool in this game. They are less epic to watch, and it removed that uh, uh, like special mode where, where they uh, attack and do a lot of combos. So all the special moves and ultimate moves are less uh, demanding on the engine in this game. They have been nerfed to replace this portable, which in my opinion was unnecessary because the Dragon Ball Z Tenkichi tag team game from 2010 for this system, the PlayStation Portable, uh, it didn't nerf any of the special moves of the Tenkichi game and they worked fine. Uh, but it did however uh, nerf the, the speaking and, and the moving mouth uh, and the moving eyes. Uh, I believe they blink in the game in, in the PS2 and they move their mouth. So that was nerfed, but uh, I believe the special moves could have been kept. They were kept in the tag team game, but not in this game. Uh, instead they have been nerfed, they are less epic to look at. And uh, it's less demanding on the weaker engine. Uh, okay, but uh, even so, I believe that uh, this game is easier to play. Um, it's easy to do, you know, do the combo moves and move around and charge. Uh, moving fast towards the enemy is easy in this game, unlike in the Burka games where it was more difficult. It's easier to charge on the L1 or L2 buttons. In the Burka games it was more difficult to charge, I believe, charge the energy. And then also the main difference is how you do the Kamamahas and other special moves. In, on the <coughs> in the Burka games, ah, no, now we faced the Gotenks. <coughs> but in the Burka games you pressed like a square four or five times, I believe four times, and then pressed circles. So you needed to press multiple times the same button and then another button, and then you could do the the, 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 uh, the, the ultimate tags or the, sp the super tags. Well, in this game, uh, each of the three uh, special moves require only like one, uh, two buttons to be pressed, one directional button and one, uh, one of the other buttons. So everything has been made more easy to pull off. Uh, so this game, Shin Budokai, 
is more user friendly or player friendly than the Burkai 1, 2 and 3 games yeah, where you had a lot of buttons that you needed to learn in order to pull off any special moves and in this game you have like uh, two buttons for all of the special moves so it's way more easy to pull off the, the good moves it also allows you to spam them a lot more than in the other game but I like it because I, I dislike when you need to learn everything and, and it's uh, annoying to, to you know learn multiple buttons that you need to press I believe in back in the day I were pretty good at Budokai 1 and 2 two games that I bought and owned and played to the end but you know uh, nowadays I suck at those games because I do not have the skills anymore and I'm too lazy to to teach myself uh, a bunch of combos and such. This game, however, is so easy to, to do the combos in because you have so few buttons that you need to push. So I prefer this game. It's more friendly for a newbie that do not want to spend a lot of time teaching himself uh, combos. Okay. Hey, I can hear you, Brad. Didn't read what Goating said there. Read it for yourself. Uh, okay. Charge up the energy. Distract the disc. Okay. So uh, left and uh, left and uh, circle is the barrier, and uh, right and circle is the distract the disc. What is triangle and barrier? Ah, it's this attack. So all the ultimate attacks in this game are easy to pull off, just two buttons, which in my opinion makes this game uh, easier to play than the other games for the PlayStation 2. And the infinite world probably is like this, making it the more easy, user friendly version of the Luka game for the PlayStation 2. Uh, but the, the Luka games require more uh, a learning curve to become good at them so to teach yourself all the skills and such they are more competitive a player that has played them a lot will be way better than, than someone that hasn't played them um, while this game is easy for a new to just jump in and play and still be able to pull off the, the good attacks can see why Infinite World is not that liked by hardcore Budokai 3 fans. Budokai 3 being the best uh, Budokai game, the most expansive. It's a the similar situation as with Super Smash Brothers Brawl and Super Smash Brothers Melee, where Melee was very competitive and then Brawl became more user friendly. And uh, didn't require much talent in order to pull off all the, the, the good uh, moves and such. I mean, uh, they made it more player friendly for people that have never played before. <laughs> and uh, competitive players do not like that. They, they prefer when, when the game is difficult and uh, when they can become elite and uh, you know, throw off their skills against others. Meaning a professional player is much better than a new newbie. Okay, let's charge the energy. Okay. Need to attack this combo attack. It's a decent attack. But it still sucks that they removed all the flash uh, like cutscenes from Budokai 2 and 3. I like those and I think the, the ultimate moves in this game are a little bit too underwhelming. Especially since uh, Tengeki Tag Team still kept all the cool moves from the PlayStation 2. So it's not impossible to keep them. They just did that because they underestimated their PlayStation 4 for most likely. All right. Round two. Fine. 
much damage you back up. Oh, I did a move there, but he failed, he blocked. Okay, did some ordinary beams. They didn't do much. back up remember in in uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, in Budokai 2 another road released in 2007 that I played when I were in school uh, remember in that game that the story mode is very different like very weird it's like a like a, an open world to some extent we move can get attacked. I don't remember exactly everything, but it's a VR story mode and pretty difficult too. It's still not based on the Dragon Ball Z story. So the Film Budoka games were based on movies or had their own stories. I believe the second game had its own story. But this game is based on a movie. Don't push yourself. Hey, well, the tank it's attacking game has to Dragon Ball Z story from the start of the Saiyan Saga and up to the defeat of Majin Buu. They even have some Dragon Ball GT stuff, but not Dragon Ball. Oh, we're fighting the Gita now. Gal Gun attack. Let's charge up. Combos on the Gita. Yeah, I like this game. I remember playing Budokai 2 and 1 with friends when I were 14 and 15 years old back in 2002 and 3 uh, and 4 I believe and uh, I remember being much better than my friends because I had played it a lot and learned all the moves and such but they didn't know what to do with the special moves and that made the game pretty boring for anyone uh, playing against me because they couldn't pull off the, the good attacks while I were uh, like an expert uh, back then. Uh, this game would be much better for them because uh, it's so easy to, to learn all the moves and it's just two buttons for every special move. Uh, unlike the other game which had like uh, six to nine buttons maybe for the best moves. Uh, so this game is much more uh, user friendly and it would be a better game for anyone that wants to just jump in and be good at it from the start and have fun. It's a better game if you want to have fun with friends, playing against friends. And remember that the PlayStation Portable were supposed to be a, a portable console where you could play with your friends. If, if you and four other friends had a, a, a portable the device, then, then you could uh, connect it through the Wi-Fi uh, if you were nearby, or you could play through a link cable. And uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, supposed to be played between friends in many of the games. Many of the games have multiplayer. And uh, that's why also it's good that the games are not too difficult for newbies or new players. This game, unlike the Bulga 1, 2 and 3 games, is much more easy to jump into and just enjoy playing. It has worse graphics than the Bulga 3 game and it's less uh, of a, um, actually, let's say, professional fighting game. <laughs> the Bulga 3 requires the player to, to play more in order to get good at it. This is not as competitive as the other one. I'm already complete, but would you like to be a part of me again? 
Cell says. Sorry again, you're just so slime and gross. Okay. Fight an extra battle against perfect cell. Need to play Dragon Ball Z Cybersonic Warriors for the Game Boy Advance more too. Now that I knew how now that I know how to do the moves. Not the super moves but the, the beams and such. It will be easier to finish the storm mode then. You can play the storm mode with every character and other characters. Yeah, this game is fun. There's too few characters. Compared to earlier titles and uh, the, the special moves are a little down because they are way less flashy than on the PS2 but I still think it's a great game and the models look better it's just that the fact they do not move their mouths and they speak is such uh, looks weird when you're used to the PS2 models but they do move their mouths Oh, we did a teleport here. I don't know why I can't move there. Shit. Yeah, it's a heal. Played very poorly in the yes, end there. Such power. Final round. The models are the same as in the, in the PS2 game, but uh, due to worse animations and such, they end up looking worse. Even the colors are better here, I believe, for certain characters. More clear, powerful. Picture quality is better to some extent. And the resolution too. Bastard. Alright, another this. battle Round against one. myself. The alternate version of Final 18 has a blue look like in the old game. She looks exactly like in Blue Guy 2 and 3. She has the old look, the alternate skin. They kept the original look too. Made that the alternate skin of Final 18 when she fights herself. I don't know if we can select that skin, but if, if she fights herself, you will have that automatically uh, for one of the players. To differentiate them. That actually looks in the anime. Instead of having purple, like uh, close to as blue. Charge up the energy. Ah, uh, I should have used the uh, rotation buttons better. Ah, uh, we lost, we need to play again. So that's the alternate version of Android 18 in this game. Up. Did I just start to play pool there? Yeah. Played way better with Goku. Yeah, we lost again. Too strong. 
can you? Charge. Like she won't do the special move. Good. So it's possible to teleport and they throw stuff at you. Don't really know how. Time it perfectly. Press the right button at the right time. Do it. Have we won finally? Any more? Round. Maybe the radiant look back at the line. Charge combo Fuck that. Try to, to do the, this move. And I succeeded. And one, finally. Need to be in two times. <laughs> Don't push yourself. Okay, Krillin is challenged us. Hey, 18, why don't we head home? Head on home. Hmm, okay. You can be my opponent. Round one. Overall resolution in the PSP is of course better looking. There are no graphical glitches here compared to the PlayStation 2 and maybe it has some issues in the Budokai and the Digital games. Slight disturbances in these simulators. It's not noticeable here. The PPS is big damage to the place in Portugal. This game than anything in Budokai 2 and uh, 3 because they are so difficult to play for a new player. However, the cinematics of the first game are nice with really good music and such. Cool 3D cinematics, so they should be played both for the music and for the cinematics. But otherwise, it has the same problem as the other two games. The difficult learning curve. Especially sell at the end is almost impossible to defeat, even on easy. Did your wish? Anything at all? Well, I asked this once before, but can you make me human? As before, my power is not sufficient. 
Yeah, I thought so. In that case, could we make Krillin an android? No, never mind. In that case, forget it. I'm sorry, even I have limits. Wait a minute, could you get rid of the order to kill Goku inside me? That I can do. I don't have a problem with him, and he doesn't seem to die really, but he's Krillin's best friend, so it's kind of annoying. The wish is granted, farewell. Maybe I should should have asked for, for some money or something. Eh, uh, oh well, time to head home. Alright, in, in the story of the manga and anime, I believe that uh, Krillin wished for Android 18 to become a human and it was granted. So Shenlong has that problem. Eh, uh, I mean that how we finished the uh, arcade mode with Android 18. Alright. So each character has their own little story there, with different challengers based on who they know and such, who are their rivals and such, and then <coughs> they wish a different thing when they reach Shenlong, then it's just uh, <coughs> text, you don't even get an option to pick a wish. In some games you do, some fighting games, you can wish for a higher level or additional skill or uh, maybe to relearn something. In this game you can't wish for anything said it's set in stone what each character will receive when you finish the arcade. Alright. Of course the second game is probably better than this game in most areas will increase the number of characters for sure. As I said I played it in the past in the PlayStation Portable but it's been years played it back in 27. It's one of the first games I played on the PlayStation Portable. I had to play as Android 18. <coughs> I will probably play as Vegeta too at some point. Maybe Piccolo as well. I don't know about the others. We'll try the story mode, I think. Now we'll get some items, I believe, and this credit uh, scroll has stopped. And when, we, when we're finished here, we'll get some items and we'll need to save the game. Then we can take a look at, at the store mode. Game. Yeah, I do recommend this game. For anyone who likes Budokai 1, 2 and 3 and especially Infinity World. PlayStation 2. Thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. Four new items are now available in the shop. Okay, let's go to the profile card to the shop. We have some kind of uh, capsule here. Some items, I don't know what they do. You get um, more than just uh, maybe just a model we can look at, or if we can get the actual Super Saiyan transformations, I don't know. It would be cool to have some transformations on new characters. Maybe they are new characters. I don't know, to be honest. These are sold out. I don't know if these are characters you can play as. Let's try this one. Wait a second. 
capsule for 1500. We'll try that one. Yes. And uh, the heart. And we can try to buy. Participate in battles with various conditions, test your limits. Okay, and we have a training, training. We have Dragon Road, let's try out Dragon Road, chapter 1. Let's start. Once upon a time, there were seven Dragon Balls scattered on the earth. One who gathers all seven will have a wish granted. Luke and his friends went on a great adventure to find these Dragon Balls. Time passed. The magician Babide awakened the terrible Majin Buu. He wiped out the humankind and destroyed Earth. Thanks to Goku and Hercule, Mr. Satan in Europe and in Japan. Hercule is named Mr. Satan in Japan and in Europe. Uh, Majin Buu was finally defeated. And with the power of the Dragon Balls, Earth was restored. So this game starts after the defeat of Majin Buu. So in in essence after Dragon Ball C. Okay. Everyone forgot the terror and everything returned to normal. So the movie takes place at the end of Dragon Ball C. Okay. Seems to be playing go on. Woohoo! The weather's great today. It's been so long since I went camping. Hope Piccolo and Vegeta can make it too. Dad! Hey Gohan, what's with that outfit? I'm coming camping too. Okay, but thought you had a test. Mom said you can't stay in your room all the time. So today I'm going out and getting some exercise. Oh, okay. Let's get warmed up then. Wait, Dad. We can't fight in front of the house. Oops, sorry. Let's head somewhere else. Hold on, Dad. I'm not ready. Let's get going already. Okay, so we'll train against Go and we play as Son Goku in the story mode. We grab him. Okay. We can move forward like that too. Come on, huh? Go and can also do that. Right, so Goku didn't have any combo moves. And we won the battle, good. Pant, 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 pant. Huh, did I overdo it? I it's been a while. You sure got out of shape quick. Well, I'll get back in a hurry. Let's head to the meeting place then. Okay. Hey, where's Goten? Oh, he went ahead to Trunks place. Really? Then let's get going. The background there didn't look too good. Two new, two new items are now available in the shop, so you earn items in the store mode too. 
my next fight I will fight is uh, Krillin. So you fight like battles, uh, set battles, and then there are um, like uh, um, dialogue in between. Text dialogue. Okay. Back to the main menu. Ah, fuck, I clicked wrong. Okay. And uh, back. I need to save again. Okay, done. We have the C trial. Survival mode, we fight battles until we lose and see how long we can win. And uh, time attack, complete particular course as quickly as possible. Okay, nah, we won't do that. Alright, but thanks for what we will check what uh, items I got. Profile card for uh, number 8. I can use this for. Yeah, there's probably there to, to impress other players when playing online. Okay, uh, so thank you for watching. I may play this game again and continue the story mode or play the arcade mode with other characters. I'm more, more inclined to play the arcade mode. I believe I don't have much interest in the story mode because it's based on a movie takes place after the Dragon Ball Z story has ended. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.